militants of the Wagner Group can cause provocations in the countries of the European Union. Representatives of the top military leadership of Ukraine and Poland have held a meeting during which one of the key topics was the possible threats posed by the deployment of the Wagner Group in Belarus. Press service of the Joint Forces Command of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported this. The meeting was held by Lieutenant General Serhii Naev, the commander of the Joint Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, and Lieutenant General Tomasz Piotrowski, the commander of the Operational Command of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Poland. They discussed promising areas of bilateral cooperation, the security situation in the region, and ways to assist Ukraine in repelling Russia's armed aggression. Among other things, they discussed the challenges and threats posed by the deployment of a part of the Wagner Group to Belarus. Serhii Naev stressed the importance of continuing to exchange information and experience in organizing combat operations at control points. In addition, he shared the specifics of the practical use of various types of foreign weapons, noting the need for additional training to subordinate personnel in the operation and repair of Polish-made military equipment. The press release reads, Ivan Stupak, a former employee of the National Security Service of Ukraine, says that the militants of the Wagner Group can cause provocations in the countries of the European Union, especially in Poland. We do not rule out any scenario. I am glad that the Poles are taking this seriously and are strengthening the border defense. Wagner soldiers are very professional. They have extensive combat experience in Syria, Libya and the Central African Republic, said Stupak. According to him, Wagner mercenaries can organize the following provocations. Engaging in confrontation with Polish border guards, descending deep into the country and wreaking havoc, intensifying the migration crisis with refugees from Syria and Libya.